trying to put myself in a billionaire's mindset here. What would I do on a weekend when the Geneva Motor Show has just been cancelled? What I'd probably do is hop in the back of my flying spur, get chauffeur driven to a dealership. Thank you very much, Alex. For You're welcome. Friend. Really appreciate it to have you here today. Oh, it's awesome. I would then probably spec out a car out of fury for having missed the Geneva Motor Show. So I feel like that's what we need to do. So if you can just take me to the nearest dealership, please. Absolutely. We're just crossing Geneva and five minutes we're there. Let's do this. I just feel like I want to make phone calls and be a businessman. But Alex, tell me, why, yeah. what's it like to drive? It's just phenomenal. It's the totally brand brand new Bentley that just released. We've just got this car at the dealership. It's the old brand new flying spa. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful spec and to drive this thing is absolutely phenomenal like yeah. six liter w12 you don't hear absolutely nothing inside of the car it's pretty awesome and i can tell you that back here i certainly i mean feel like a billionaire <laughs> this thing makes you feel so special you feel disconnected from the outside world you got the most luxurious leather possible it smells like it's worth about three million bucks in here and literally you got all the gadgets but done in a classy classic way and they've just nailed it and i really do feel special sat behind here and i just want to make phone calls pretend like i'm a businessman for a day and head on towards the dealership so that i can uh yeah, live the whole experience of what it's like for someone who's in a position like this but I imagine this is what you do you waft around Geneva and filling up your time on your off day from your usual busy business lifestyle and go supercar shopping this is really wonderful and with Septolini we've just put the massage seats and you just feel more the lever has been totally upgraded yeah. with this wonderful so comfortable leather the seats are just comfortable as well and we and can you have feel such a connected. clear conversation because it's double glazed all the There's way around double glazed, silent yeah. in here literally feels like it could be a uh, an a electric hybrid. one <laughs> yeah an electric car but it's yeah makes you feel special so i'm gonna have a sip of water and we'll meet up with you at the dealership all right we made it so uh pretty special first stop we've just made it to the dealership i really wanted to come to i think it suits the billionaire lifestyle perfectly so out we come uh, alex hello welcome, thank you welcome. very much thank you hope that you appreciated the ride guys look what's behind me it is the bugatti dealership the proper billionaire dealership and in my pocket right now i've got a bugatti key let's head in so here's the flying welcome at bugatti Genève. There you go, Seb. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Now I feel like a billionaire. Look at this. Bugatti Veyron, classic spec. Very nice. Yeah, awesome dealership. Look at this, look at this table. Uh, these chairs here, carbon fiber chairs. This is where we're going to be hanging out. I'm going to be making a separate video on the Veyron. With some special cushions as well, the oh, Bugatti. Oh yeah, the cushions. Wow, wow. very nice. <laughs> So I'm going to make a separate video on this Bugatti, but before we get to that, what we're going to do today is live the full billionaire experience and actually spec up my own Bugatti. Let's do it. So Bugatti really greet you in the best way possible. You arrive here, you're sat on these carbon fiber chairs, greeted by what could be your own personal Veyron here. And you've come today, well we've come today to spec up a Bugatti Chiron in theory, we're not actually really doing it. So you arrive, you have all these really nice little coffee table books, which are probably worth more than my house. One on Ettore Bugatti right there. And then whenever you feel like it, after you've had your coffee, after you've had your chat, you move along this way, walk past the beautiful Veyron, which can inspire you for your upcoming spec and make you realize what you can have. And then you're greeted by these two drawers. Beautiful Bugatti drawers which fit perfectly. Even the drawers in themselves have a beautiful design. And they are housing options for things such as leather colors. Bugatti well known for having some wacky interior colors, wacky specs. This is orange leather. We've got some baby blue leather. Of course, you've got your more classics, your, your black, your white. You've got loads of different options. And so it's really cool. So you can come here and really kind of feel the different leather options, see the different colors in the flesh. I mean, look at this purple. And that allows you to see it under loads of different lights and you can really experience what the car is going to look like. So you pick your interior spec and then you can go on to picking your exterior spec. So for example, here we've got a solid color blue. You can of course have several solid colors on the car, but you can then also have exposed carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that is exposed burgundy carbon fiber, which looks really nice. Now you can either have it glossy 
or you can have different versions of matte carbon as well. So same thing, you can see how it works under loads of different lights. The lighting, the spotlights here allow you to see the different options. And so you just come here, discuss with the dealer. Usually it's a process which takes a few weeks, um, all of the various options, and then you'll create different kinds of configurations on an iPad. So either you use the screens or you use an iPad, such as this one. So we've got a few different specs in front of us. So once you finish your spec, you get a document like this, where you can see, for example, this car in a light gray, blue, red calipers, black rims. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, if I show you the interior, this is on a Chiron Sport. The interior is a kind of tan leather interior with some blue leather, black Alcantara, absolutely beautiful spec. And this one, sir, would come to your little visit, 2,682,500 euros. So yeah, it's an expensive car, but just to show you the difference a spec can make, we move on to this spec, and that is almost a million euros more on this car. Uh, absolutely beautiful. This one's brown exposed carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see it round back with white, yellow, brake calipers, a really classy spec. You've got the glass roof there. It's very, very nice. Now this is a Chiron, not a Chiron Sport, but the exposed Carmen is what really brings the value of this one way up. And interior wise, look at that. I mean, you've got orange, you've got brown. So people really go wacky with their Chiron specs, but you can get away with it. And when you get to the bottom, you're greeted with this little plaque, which reminds you that your spec is gonna be one of only 500 made worldwide. We've got another one here, which is an all white kind of Manny Koshman inspired car with chrome wheels. It's also got the glass inlets on the top of the car. This is a Chiron as well. And this one, sir, 2,756,000. So yes, we are talking purely billionaire level with these cars, but it's a surreal experience to be able to come here and have the dealership to ourselves and really experience what it's like um, to be a potential Bugatti owner. So you arrive in your Bentley, you spec up your Bugatti, and yeah, it is just pretty special. So thank you to Bugatti Geneva, thank you to Bentley Geneva, thank you Alex for putting all of this together. It. Once you've come here, once you've seen the car, now we're gonna do a separate video on the car. I've got the key in my pocket, we're gonna start it, we're gonna talk about the running costs of a Bugatti in a separate video. But once you've specced your Bugatti, you then think, what am I gonna drive daily? What am I gonna get my wife? Different things like that, so for that, all you have to do here is go upstairs and you've got a solution. But right before that, yeah. we need to get some food. So, taking back the flying. Back in the flying spur. The first edition. Yeah, thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Lovely. Ah, and let's go get some lunch. We should probably keep a tally on how much we're spending today. First of all, it's so nice. I mean, this is the way to travel. Being driven in the back, getting a massage. You're able to check your messages, check your photos and everything while you're driving. This is such a good way to travel around town. But let's keep a tally on what we're spending. Let's say we've just spent about 3 million euros on share on Sport, which we spec'd, we just ordered that. You spent around 300,000 euros or 270,000, I think, on the Flying Spur, or like 2,000 a day for a driver in this car. What else? We're now going to lunch, and then what we'll be doing later today is gonna add quite a bit of value Forget as well. the chauffeur driving for the whole day. Chauffeur, yeah, the chauffeur, you have to pay the chauffeur. <laughs> yeah, it's quite an astronomically expensive kind of day so this feels pretty surreal but now we're off to lunch we should have a really nice lunch it's I'm just gonna keep enjoying this flying spur I love it and that's even without counting the maintenance on the Chiron which you've just ordered which is gonna be between 50 to 100,000 a year yeah no, no biggie fantastic right Alex the only thing is we now need to find somewhere to have lunch which kind of goes with the whole billionaire lifestyle thing yeah actually since the morning we are pretty good pretty good with the flying with the Chiron like with the specking the Chiron yeah the the, the Vera actually I think that a five-star hotel is not no big deal right five-star hotel what do I, you think I reckon yeah, <laughs> yeah that would do I don't really know any in Geneva because I don't really hang out at the five stars but you know it actually would be on the best way to just keep going this wonderful day, this wonderful journey. Actually, the La Reserve yeah. is like quite near to, like we're just like clicking on the way. So what do you think about it? Mate, I'm keen. Let's do it. Let's yeah, go. five star. Let's go. Let's do it. Good lunch. Okay. Right. Awesome. I think yeah. you've picked it well. This place it looks, about, right? it looks what legit. It? it looks legit. Oh, off goes the car. You, um, I think you chose pretty well. So let's pick our food so, and keep going. This is, yes, this is lovely. Guys, if you, if you feel like you'd like this to be like a little series, 
I'm all for it. Just letting you know, if you want to just drop a like, get this video loads of views so we can do this more often. We have plenty of ideas in stock, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm it keen. It should be good. I'm keen. You happy? I'm so glad. Look at that, it's so amazing. Yeah, I think that we are the best way for building our day. <laughs> oh, it's ah, sushi. Super. Come, check this out. Wow. Merci. It's so cool. Nailed it. Cheers. Come straight out and the car's parked out here. Oh, look, I didn't notice that this thing goes away and then there's a little Bentley sign on it. Pretty cool. Ah, this is a nice place to sit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, this is never gonna get old. Look at me, I'm like a little kid. Now we've got our bellies full and now we have to go configure a daily, a daily driver, why not? So, because it's the theme of today, why don't we head back to Bentley? Right, we leave the flying and let's go configure a Conti. All right, well, this has been a stressful day as a billionaire, but I'm doing this for you guys. <laughs> the day is now going to end with a configuration of a Bentley Continental GT. Daily driver, maybe one day someone will be stupid enough to actually marry me, so it could be for them, it could yeah. be for her. We've got the Flying Spur, we've got, we've a lot got of the Chiron. Today. Let's say we got the Veyron as well. Yeah, 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 no, we've got, we've got everything. So, now. Continental GT. First of all, W12. Why not? Six liter, the most powerful one yeah. as well. And then we'll get that, we'll get a coupe. A coupe, a coupe yeah. look, that looks better. And as you can see behind us, we've got everything we need to spec the car. So There's you're going to come along with us. Of possibilities as well. So, and I think it's going to be fun. So Alex, if you can please help me with specking the car. You have a lot of samples that yeah. you can choose actually for the color. Shall we start inside. color? Yeah. Watch, I like these. I'm, I'm going to go with a blue, I think. You have light blue, you have dark blue, you have dark sapphire. And peacock. <laughs> We've got peacock blue. Um, I think I'm going to go. So, you have different shades. This blue feels a bit aggressive. Black feels a little bit boring. Mm. Dark sapphire sounds far Not too expensive. Not too bad. So, this we put on Let's the go side. peacock. Peacock. Mainly One. for the name, secondly, for the way it looks. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really nice. Look. Yeah, it's, it's a nice color actually. No, so dark blue W12. Conti GT. It cool. already sounds good. Let's go black rims. Let's just assume we've got black rims. Black we rims. We have, we have what's so in the showroom that we can show. Yeah. Um, now the inside. Yes. The inside. So you have outside. Blue. Uh, deep dark blue. Black rims. That's correct. Now for the leather. I have plenty, plenty possibilities with the leather as well. So this is what it's like when you come here, this gives you the Check opportunity to see the colors, but it also allows you from when you're in the dealership to actually feel the different leathers, the textures and see the colors and the way they work under different lights. Like we had down at Bugatti. Wow, you just whacked yeah. tans in front of me. You have plenty of choice. Now this sort of tan interior could go well with the blue, mm -hmm. but I think we're going to, because you know, seeing as, uh, you know, billionaire kind of day, money yeah. no object, we can go with something a bit more bold. Black this is, is like boring. Like Bentayga. Yeah. Or what the is this? that we've got. Dampson. That feels a little bit too, also too like off. This brown. is a bit of an orangey yeah. tan. I'm gonna go with one of these. That's too burgundy. <laughs> I think that this one looks not too bad. With the oh. dark blue. Wow. That goes well together, right? That's already the first spec. Dark that looks blue, red interior. Nice. Fantastic. So, all the leather we put on the other side. We're now, moving along nicely, boys. Let's pack some Stressful inside day. details. Um, yeah. Look at that. We've got some What's stitching inside. <laughs> with also G turns uh, seats that you can even choose. With some stitchings. Right. I okay. No. To have so some plenty other stitching. Red as well. stitching on red leather feels a bit aggressive. Yeah. Gold stitching feels a bit aggressive. <laughs> White stitching. These are two samples. They're almost the same. One's a it's bit like more cream. Yeah, That's that one's more cream. cream. I think we're gonna go pure white, white. non-jean friendly diamond stitching. Yeah. But then there is this thing called diamond oh, on diamond. Yes, we do have diamond into a diamond, so that you guys can see it. It's, it's, a like, it's like option. stitching where you got diamonds like this and then another diamond within it. It's the one that we've got on the flying as well, just before. You know what? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it, Alex. Let's we go put, nuts. We put diamond into the list. Put as many diamonds as you like. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even the real ones yeah. you can put inside of the Conti. Right, what have we now, got next? Um, I do have some wood. Check Whoa, this out. God. Very I nice. Think because we're young, this yeah. is like more for different category of uh, woods. This is like a bit more of our generation. This is pretty cool. This is dark 
wood. I don't dark know if you guys wood. can see here. Dark, dark wood. Yeah, proper veneers. dark veneer wood. Yeah. And because we're super young, you need a carbon. I think that's pretty nice idea. I agree. I cool think glass carbon. Dark wood would be cool. A bit too classy for me. I'm definitely not classy yeah. enough for wood on the inside of the car. Carbon, again, probably the most expensive, but also the coolest. Kind of pointless on this car, so I'll get it. So carbon for that. Wow, we have a pretty nice spec already. Yeah, how did we you get here? <laughs> you were there a second ago. I, yeah, I, I know, because we, we just keep going. We just keep going. Okay, so, so we got blue um, exterior, red interior, white stitching, carbon. What else have we got? The floor. You need the floor. The floor. I, I would like a plenty, floor. I have some other plenty space. Um, samples for you. <laughs> okay, so these Check are the carpets. <laughs> Proper Bentley carpets. These things are it's so for thick. The floor. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these things are. I mean, it's look it's at a, that. It's a clown. Wow. It is literally a clown. This is like a chameleon Ooh. color. Oh. This thing's nuts. Look, you have double color inside. I mean, turquoise would feel a bit bold, so no. ooh, could you do white? But for the floor? I think we stick with floor. one color. Do you have any other I options? have something that might be perfect. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just making a Bentley mountain of Yeah, look, check this out. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I have this too. Ooh. I have this too. Black. Black. Probably the best, classiest option. However, 12 years old. Yeah. Red. Let's do Massive it. Massive red. Some normal, if you prefer. Oh, you got normal instead. carpet. Again, this is probably the classier way to go. Mm -mm. But I mean, it's a Bentley, isn't it? It's a Bentley, so this is quite a very great option. Let's do it. Let's do that. this. Boom. In, is that everything? Thing? No. Uh, you need to be safe. Okay. So maybe a seat belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I pretty essential. Uh, the red, like dark red, or. It, I think that's a bit too much red. I agree. Oh, white. I have nice. white. Nice. Yes. I think that's all. Yeah, I let's do white. Yeah. Let's do white. Okay. Let's do white. Okay, and white seatbelt. Co other colors. Even the gray doesn't know white. No, okay. I think white. We stick with white. Okay. Done everything. So, let's resume. So, we've got blue, dark blue. Outside. Bentley Peacock outside. Red, dark, burgundy red interior. Yeah. Matching. <laughs> Sort of cloud, cloud like for the floor. It? The floor, the, the carpeting. 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 Oh. Very nice. White contrast stitching, white contrast seat belt, and carbon and fiber finish. That's the most important. Alex. Deal? Deal. Good. Let's do it. I'm you, very can order, good. you know what? Order two. Two. It's fine. In any case. Yeah, yeah. order a convertible. <laughs> Just get two. It's no like problem. You have these two specs for the two Conti. It's, GT, it's GT, pretty GTC. special. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the, that's the perfect way to, to end off this day. Mm. Now, I'm just going to show you quickly what we're looking at now. And this is it. This is what's right behind us when we were filming our specking video, the dealership. And there's some pretty special stuff here, like these two black Bentleys here, put together about 700 grand. These things are super rare, uh, both sold. Unfortunately, obviously, as billionaires, we would have walked in and bought the pair of them, wouldn't we? <laughs> Today was a really fun day, a, a kind of wacky concept. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We kind of um, got a bit carried away with it, but we thought it was really good fun. I mean, thank you, Alex, You're welcome. for organizing today. I'm going to put links to his channel yeah. and stuff down below. I mean, thank you to Bentley Geneva. Thank you to Bugatti Geneva. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, we drove around in a flying spur, specced Chirons, saw a Veyron, specced a Conti, and came to this dealership here. So it was really good fun. I hope you enjoyed I'm staying in Geneva for a few days now despite the motor show being finished and I'm just going to enjoy my time here So some cool videos should hopefully be on the way. Thanks for watching as always. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye